Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll explore eight essential trousers that should be in your closet. Trousers have existed for thousands of years and have been the default way for men to cover their lower half since the 19th century. Not to knock you toga and kilt wearers out there. Since they're a garment that covers half of your body, they'll make up a decent portion of your outfit. The cut of your trousers will also set the tone for the bulk of your silhouette, either adding or removing visual weight to the lower half of your body. So it's critical that they tie in with everything else for a cohesive outfit. Now we developed today's list with classic style in mind. So any of these trousers can technically be bought as part of a suit. However, their main focus will be on separates from the jacket. This means that we're looking at trousers that have already stood the test of time and will continue to look good for years to come. If you love drop crotch joggers, more power to you. What are those? Please don't be surprised that they're not on the list. Now, if you're wondering what even makes a trouser timeless, these are the key elements that you should consider. Timeless fit. You want trousers that are appropriately sized for your body, with a cut that is comfortable to wear and avoids extreme silhouettes. Naturally, this is something that we've spoken about before. So if you want to perfect your fit, we've got you covered. Be sure to check out How Pants Should Fit, Seven Pant Mistakes That Men's Wear Experts Avoid. Next up, you want to consider how versatile the trouser is when creating outfits. You want a pair that can help you create the highest amount of alpha combinations possible. In other words, that bright yellow Gurkha trouser that you've been considering might not fit here. Now this will ensure that you're getting better cost per wear, meaning you can invest in higher quality instead of higher quantity. Versatility is achieved when a trouser can be combined with the majority of your wardrobe. Our Fort Belvedere socks can also serve as a great way to tie in your pants with the rest of your outfit. And we'll show you how to combine socks, shoes, and pants here. The final tenet you should consider is the quality of a trouser's construction. Since you want trousers that you can wear on a frequent basis, it's key to ensure that they're hold up after many wears. Trousers made with attention to detail often fit in this criteria. Hallmarks such as the use of natural fibers like wool, cotton, and linen are typically good signs, as well as handwork details such as button sewn with a shank. Typically, synthetic materials won't fit into this criteria, even though we all love stretchy pants in private. When you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants in your room. It's for fun. You can find more out about distinguishing quality in this guide. What to consider when selecting classic trousers. When curating your own selection, there are several elements to keep in mind. The trousers color will have a major impact in determining its formality. For example, navy's more somber tone will make it more formal than a light brown trouser. Color can also have an impact on the appropriate seasonality. For example, it's much more common to see deeper, darker tones during the fall and winter months, and brighter or pastel tones in the summer months. Reflecting the seasonality is a wonderful way to enjoy your wardrobe pieces. Finally, color is critical when considering versatility. Some colors match with a greater variety over others. For example, navy and gray will probably match with far more items in your wardrobe than hot pink or lime green. As it pays to understand color theory when combining outfits, you can brush up with these videos. Another key element to consider is the actual texture of the fabric, as this will have a huge impact on its formality. For example, a navy worsted wool trousers smooth finishing is gonna be much more formal than a plush navy cotton corduroy trouser. Texture will also help convey the seasonality of the garment. For example, Donegal Tweed is typically associated as a fall and winter texture. It's a coarse and heavy fabric designed to keep you warm, while the relaxed breezy weave of linen evokes the summer heat that it's designed to be worn in. Fabric weight and breathability is a very practical element to consider. This is because certain fabrics either insulate heat or help to dispel it. In other words, don't wear linen trousers in an Antarctic winter or tweed trousers in a Saharan summer. Your drape preferences will also have a large impact here. Generally, the heavier a fabric is, the more drape it will have. This will influence the overall look of the trousers on you. So if you prefer a more structured look, a six ounce linen pant probably won't be as appealing to you as a 10 ounce tropical wool. Cut is probably the most subjective element to consider. They can range all the way from Oxford bags to spray on skinny, but the most classic cuts will fall somewhere in between the two of these extremes. Focus on what works best for your body type. So if you're like Raphael with bigger thighs, consider pleated pants for a flattering cut. The cut will also impact whether or not you want to add a cuff to your trousers, as well as what kind of break you would like. A cuff with a full break is much more casual than no cuffs with a clean line. 
So these details will play a part in how dressy or relaxed you want your trousers to be. Finally, there's also the practical question of how you're going to keep your pants up. Whether you prefer a belt or suspenders, remember that belt loops are less formal than a clean waistband. But it's all down to your personal preference. Trousers everyone should own. Getting into our first few trouser picks. These are the foundational trousers that are versatile enough to have a spot in any classic wardrobe. Number one, navy or dark gray wool trousers. Navy and dark gray will match nearly any color within a classic menswear palette, and they can be used in nearly any outfit combination. This means that even if you rarely wear classic menswear, you have a foolproof way of looking good no matter what you put on. Either color is formal enough to be worn with a blazer or a sport coat with ease. Just make sure that you don't pick something that's the same color, but only one or two shades different from your trousers. There should be enough contrast between the two elements to make sure that the choice is seen as intentional. However, a jacket is not your only option. These trousers can work just as well if you're wearing just a shirt or even a sweater. You have a wide variety of options when it comes to the fabric of these pants. Which one works best depends on the climate that you live in. However, worsted wool with a medium weight is a great all-rounder. You will get a nice drape while picking something that is appropriate for most climates. Now, if you live in a hotter climate, something like tropical wool or fresco might be a better option because of its breathable qualities. Number two, light gray wool trousers. The next essential choice is a light gray wool trouser. During the golden age of menswear, mid to light gray wool trousers were the equivalent of blue jeans today. This is because it serves as a neutral base that will go with nearly any type of outfit combination you can imagine. Since light gray is a tad more casual than dark gray or navy, it's often the optimal choice in slightly more relaxed ensembles. This can even include darker colors or more complex patterns in your shirt, like a busier plaid, madras, or gingham pattern. The light gray serves as a backdrop and won't fight for attention when next to a more elaborate pattern. Number three, chinos. Chinos or khaki pants are a step down in formality from dress trousers and are a staple in the business casual world of dress. Just ask Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis? Hey, do they ever ask you what you're wearing? Uh, yeah. The biggest benefit of chinos is that they generally tend to wear a bit cooler, though there are heavier weights out there if you feel the cold. Being made of cotton, chinos and khakis are generally easier to launder than wool trousers. A benefit if you're more accident prone. They come in many colors from bright red to sky blue, but the most versatile option is the traditional sandy beige color. Similar to light gray, this is another neutral base that serves as the base for other elements within your outfit. This means these pants can be paired with virtually anything. Pure white is a bolder choice as it's even less formal, so you'll lose some of the versatility that makes khaki so good. But if you want to wear white with confidence, then Preston will show you how here. You can wear chinos with outfits as casual as a polo shirt, all the way up to sport coats and navy blazers. Chinos fall firmly within the business casual spectrum of dress, but will be appropriate in most situations that you're likely to encounter. Just don't lean too heavily into the college fraternity look. Man, I love college. Hey. Types of trousers everyone should consider. With the three essential trousers selected, let's look now at categories of trousers. Number four, casual trousers. Casual trousers are the kind that work well for relaxing on the weekend, or even a more laid back day at the office. You'll still want this to look good with a wide array of classically inspired outfits, from a sport coat to a jacket. So the color of these trousers should stay within the neutral blue or brown color spectrum. This will help maximize your ability to pair them with other items. This means you can bring in some raw denim or other jeans. We get it, jeans may not be traditionally considered part of classic style. So if you want our take on the iconic Levi 501 jean or denim in general, check out these videos. If denim isn't your style, there are other choices within this category. Linen slacks or lightweight wool trousers would fit perfectly for warmer climates. Or cold weather options would be corduroy or moleskin trousers. It's really all about having something that you feel comfortable in and that's congruent with what you already own. Plus, casual trousers allow you to use fun, versatile colors with your accessories, like your pocket square, your shoelaces, even your boutonniere. And guess what? Fort Belvedere has you covered. Number five, summer trousers. When summer is at its hottest, it can feel like you're in another world. Having a dedicated pair of summer trousers will allow you to fully enjoy the summer season. What makes a great summer trouser is down to its material. The most popular options would include cotton, linen, or a lightweight wool all enjoyed for their breathability and airy weight. You could even go for shorts instead. Though they're not technically trousers, but you get the point. Off-white and white are often the go-to options for lovers of the golden age of style. 
as white becomes a neutral for the rest of the ensemble. Just make sure to keep the condiments away from them while at the barbecue. However, if you love bolder colors like pink, light blue, or sage green, this is a great opportunity for you to incorporate them within your trousers. Of course, seersucker is another summer staple. While white and blue striped seersucker is most traditional, you can also find something like a navy instead. Perfect for summer days. To learn more about making summer outfits, check out this video here. Number six, patterned trousers. While it's easy to find patterned shirts and jackets, not as many of us consider patterned trousers. Plain colors offer pairing simplicity, but there's also a large number of outfits that can be made from patterned trousers. This is because a pattern can allow you to integrate a wider range of colors into your outfit. It can also help you tie different elements together. This will generally work best when the body of the trouser features a more formal color. This reduces the risk of the trousers appearing overpowered when combined with the other elements of your outfit. You can play with this by choosing a pattern and a color that either contrasts or complements the body. Some classic pattern options include grids, plaids, window panes, and houndstooth. These patterns provide unique visual interests that make outfits more memorable. Number seven, earth tone trousers. Another often overlooked option for trousers are earth tone shades. While grays and blues tend to make up more contemporary wardrobes, these earth tones will cover far more garments than might initially meet the eye. What exactly is an earth tone? It's going to include all the shades of brown, dark and olive green, and even mustard yellow. These colors pair just as well with your blues and grays. They're especially great for transitional seasons, like early spring and even fall. These seasons showcase how nature is a great inspiration when combining colors, with earth tones being especially prevalent in budding plants and falling leaves. Don't be surprised to see corduroy and other heavier cotton weaves, along with wool, for their insulating properties. Like chinos, these types of fabrics and colors are gonna be firmly on the business casual spectrum of dress, but they can still be dressed up if desired. They'll pair especially well with most sport coats. Since their fabrics are typically within the same spectrum of formality, while we're all about looking our best here at the Gentleman's Gazette, we understand that sometimes function is more important than form. This means that you'll need a pair of workhorse trousers to wear when it's time to get down and dirty. Yes, even Raphael does not wear a suit to do chores. <laughs> to learn what we really wear at home, check out this video here. Having something a little more rugged will ensure you'll protect your other trousers while doing things like cleaning or yard work. What's most important about this pair is they be durable enough to take a beating, while also being comfortable enough to wear during long periods of time. You can consider even wearing a previously mentioned pair once they've been worn down but are still wearable. If you're going to source a specific pair of work trousers, go for a pair that is both hard wearing and easy to clean. Some great choices here are options made from duck cotton, cotton canvas, or even corduroy. Although the color choice really shouldn't matter here, something in a neutral shade means you can just throw them on while still looking reasonably put together. After all, you never know when the neighbors are gonna pop around. With our list of eight essential trousers, you're bound to be set for a multitude of situations. Do you agree with our picks? Or do you feel that we left a life-saving trouser tip off the list? Let us know in the comments. Today I'm wearing a navy suit jacket with a Fort Belvedere pocket square, blue and white striped button-down shirt, brown trousers, and brown shaka boots along with Fort Belvedere socks. Check out the Fort Belvedere shop here for socks like these.